The actual installation of SQL Server 2005 is really divided into two main parts, and then I want to tell you about one other aspect that you're going to see, and this thing is really helpful on an installation. The first part of an installation is the component update. The second part is the actual setup MSI package. Let's take a look first at the component update. The component update is the part that will really drive you crazy. It's where you'll generally get stopped. You'll try to run the installation. It'll run for a few seconds, and then it'll throw an error message and tell you it can't continue because. That's the component update that caught that for you. Okay. One of the things it does is it checks for Windows Installer 2.0. It checks for the .NET Framework 2.0, and it set, checks for various setup support files. Now, some of these, if it finds them, it will install them if it's not found. Now, other things it can install and it's going to stop the installation and let you know about that and tell you what you need to do and recommend something. The MSI package does a couple of things. Once that it has determined that you are indeed ready to install SQL Server 2005, then it looks like your system has a good chance of running this. Then it's going to determine whether you're doing a local or a remote install. Then it's going to determine what type of install are you doing. Is this a default instance or a named instance? And I'll show you one of those later. Then it will install whatever features that you told it to install, whether you told it to include analysis services, report services, and those sorts of things. Now, something that's really cool that's part of the installation process, it runs automatically, is the SCC, the System Consistency Checker. Now, what this little guy does is performs various system checks both before the installation starts and periodically during the installation, and it suggests corrections to you. That's its job. Now, you're going to see some things, and even when you finish a successful installation, you're going to see a report that you can view or save, and it's really cool to save these things and print them later. Then you have some documentation on what really was and wasn't just so on your installation. So that's the system consistency checker that runs. So in the next video, we're actually going to kick off an installation and let you see some ideas of what's going on on the screen when an installation takes place. But this really is pretty simple. It's just a matter of throwing the disk in and following directions.